Hello, sister friends. Welcome to 10-Minute Bedtime Biblical Confessions with Dr. Val. I'm so glad you're here to join me in this serene moment before we close our day. Tonight, we will focus our hearts and minds on God's Word through the power of confession. Each of our carefully chosen confessions will be spoken twice, totaling 10 minutes. This practice is not just repetition. It's a form of biblical meditation, just as described in Joshua 1, 8. In this passage, we're reminded of the strength that comes from speaking God's word and then actively living it out. It's through this meditation and observation that we find our path to prosperity and success. Seeing the promises of God manifest in our lives, because of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the help of Holy Spirit. So let's settle in, relax, and prepare our hearts to speak these truths. By declaring them together, we engage in a powerful spiritual exercise that aligns our thoughts with God's intentions for us. Ready to begin? Let's start our journey of confession and see the transformation it brings. Lord, I thank you that you have promised me sweet sleep. So we're going to talk about sweet sleep tonight, sister friends. And again, I'm going to say it and pause and allow you to repeat it. Father, I thank you that you promised me sweet sleep. In Proverbs 3, it says, when I lie down, I will not be afraid. I will lie down in my sleep shall be sweet. That means that every part of my body must rest. I speak to my mind and I say, you will rest. I speak to my emotions and I declare, you will rest. I speak to my body, my physical frame, and I say that you will rest. Every part of me comes under subjection to the Word of God. It will be a fact for me tonight. So every part of my being must line up to make sure that what God has spoken shall happen. Hormones line up now. Cells line up now. Tissue, bone, marrow, Line up now. Joints, sinews, synapses. Line up now. Neurons. Every system of my body. You must line up now. And Father, 
I receive sweet sleep unto my soul. I rest in you. Your peace overshadows me. It overtakes me. And in the comfort of your arms, I will rest. I will sleep. I choose to let go of all negativity that happened this day. And I give it to you, Father. Thank you that you love me so much that you will allow my body, my mind, my soul to recuperate and have peace that you ordained in eternity past. I will wake refreshed. I will wake energized. I will sleep through the night because angels encamp around me to perform your word and I receive every benefit of this word now Father I thank you that you promised me sweet sleep In Proverbs 3, it says, When I lie down, I will not be afraid. I will lie down and my sleep shall be sweet. That means that every part of my body must rest. I speak to my mind and I say, you will rest. I speak to my emotions. And I declare, you will rest. I speak to my body, my physical frame. And I say that you will rest. Every part of me comes under subjection to the word of God. It will be a fact for me tonight. So every part of my being must line up to make sure that what God has spoken shall happen. Hormones line up now. Cells line up now. Tissue, bone, marrow line up now joints, sinews, synapses, 
line up now. Neurons. Every system of my body. You must line up now. And Father, I receive sweet sleep unto my soul. I rest in you. Your peace overshadows me. It overtakes me. And in the comfort of your arms, I will rest. I will sleep. I choose to let go of all negativity that happened this day. And I give it to you, Father. Thank you that you love me so much that you will allow my body, my mind, my soul to recuperate and have peace that you ordained in eternity past. I will wake refreshed. I will wake energized. I will sleep through the night because angels encamp around me to perform your word. And I receive every benefit of this word now. In Jesus' name.